What's up everyone? Today we're going to show you how to wire two dual 4 ohm dual voice coil subwoofers into an either a 16 ohm load, 4 ohm load, or a 1 ohm load. All you'll need is a voltmeter and some speaker wire. A quick way to see if you have a dual voice coil sub is to look on the back. You should have two sets of speaker terminals. This tells you that you have two coils within the woofer. The first thing we'll do is use a voltmeter to test our coils. Put our voltmeter to resistance and use our two probes. And our coil measures three ohms. Now don't let that fool you. What this is, is we're just measuring resistance, not actual impedance. Impedance changes as the woofer is installed in an enclosure and is playing. Now what we'll do is show you how to wire series connection and parallel connection to get a one ohm load, four ohm load, or 16 ohm load. You'll never use the 16 ohm load. The advantage to wiring your subwoofers to a one ohm load is the output of your amplifier will increase considerably over a four ohm load. Now your amplifier must be rated for that. Typically class D's are class AB amplifiers typically are not, so keep that in mind. To create our one ohm load, we'll parallel one coil to the other. So we'll take the positive of one, connect it to the positive of the other. We'll take the negative of one and connect it to the negative of the other. Then we'll also parallel those connections at the amplifier. Now a common question we get is, do you need specific or special type of wire to create the jumpers? No, you don't. This is conventional speaker wire. Now for illustrative purposes of this video, we're just using relatively small wire. What you'll need to take into consideration is how many woofers you're driving and the total system output. So you probably don't want to use thin gauge wire like we are. Now that we've paralleled the connections, this subwoofer presents a two ohm load. Once we do the exact same thing with this woofer, we'll parallel at the amplifier to create a one ohm load. And as you can see, we've done the exact same thing. So now we have a two ohm load and a two ohm load. And now we'll create a one ohm load at the amp. To do that, we'll connect another lead to the positive, another lead to the negative, and we'll do the exact same thing on this woofer. Take the positive of one woofer, connect it to the positive of the other, and we'll do the exact same thing with the negatives. Prior to hooking this up to the amplifier, we'll want to verify our load. We'll flip each woofer. To test, we put our voltmeter to resistance, black probe on the negative, positive probe on the positive, and you can see our voltmeter is reading 0.9 to 0.8 ohms. So there we verified our one ohm load at the amplifier. Next up, what we'll do is show you how to wire this to a four ohm load. For our four ohm load, the wiring differs only slightly. We'll take the negative of one, connect it to the positive of the other. That will create an eight ohm load on each woofer. Then we'll parallel those connections at the amplifier to create a four ohm load. Now all remains is a single positive and a single negative. We'll do the exact same thing with this woofer, negative to positive. When making this connection, it doesn't really matter what wire you use. You'll wanna use the exact same speaker wire you're using to wire all the woofers. The color won't matter. All that matters is the actual connection. So negative to positive, our remaining positive 
and our remaining negative. Once again, prior to connecting this to the amplifier, we'll parallel these connections. And now we have an eight ohm load, an eight ohm load parallel to a four ohm load. We'll flip the woofers over and test them with a voltmeter prior to connecting to our amplifier. We'll set our voltmeter to resistance. Take our black probe to negative, our red probe to positive, and our voltmeter is reading three ohms. Mind you, we're reading DC resistance. This is not impedance. Impedance changes when the woofers are installed in an enclosure and playing. The final option with two dual voice coil four ohm subwoofers is to wire them to 16 ohms. The likelihood of ever setting up woofers at 16 ohms is relatively small. That's generally for multi-woofer systems in multiple different configurations. There's a lot of flexibility there, but for most people, they will not use that. So we're not really gonna show you how to do it. It too is a combination of parallel and series wiring, very similar to what we did here, just a little bit different. Make sure to watch all of our other videos on amplifiers, subwoofers, and how to match subwoofers and amplifiers and amplifier wiring. Buy all of your car audio and video gear with us at qualitymobilevideo.com. Subscribe if you're new, click that like button, join the conversation below, and thanks for watching.